Hello everyone, uh, welcome again uh, to this new video of Delft 3D FM. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to run parallelly in Delft 3D. Uh, sorry I couldn't uh, post new videos before, I was really busy with my work, but now I have some spare time so, uh, so let's do a new tutorial uh, for running the parallel uh, run in a Delft 3D FM mode. Um, because I haven't seen any any any, any video before which uh, shows the parallel competition in Delft 3D FM. So in order to do a parallel run, um, I'll I'll show you. Uh, it's it's not an official official version or official standard way, but um, but I I'll show you the way that I I do the parallel run, uh, so that you can also do it very easily. So in order to do that, you have to go first to the to the Delft 3D FM uh, folder where you have installed your your software and then uh, you have to go to uh, the let me put that one on the top side so go to the delft 3d fm folder then go to the plugins and then you have dimr kernels and there's a x64 folder and copy that folder you can you can see this uh, this location uh, you just remember this location and uh, copy the x64 uh, location and uh, take it to your desired location wherever, wherever you want uh, I have already uh, copied it here so I'm not going to do it again uh, but you'll have to do it uh, you can you can put it anywhere just you need to remember the steps and then you can do it easily uh, so uh, I have uh, copied that folder here and now what I have to do is you cannot do the uh, parallel run thing uh, directly in the Delft 3D FM uh, suit version what you have to do is you have to run some commands so in order to run those commands you need to go to the cmd or command prompt windows and there at first you have to look at your 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 model location so uh, currently the model that i'm going to do a parallel setup is here uh, in the d drive so i'll type d and then some colon and press enter i have all i'm, I'm already in the d drive now i'll put cd and uh, go to the model directory or model location or where the MDU file is and copy that location and uh, after CD I just control V or paste here and then I'm now in the model directory now what I have to do is I have to run some commands uh, to to have the partition so what the what uh, what I'm doing here is I am I'm actually separating the model into different uh, in, in, in some some separation files so there would be for for in for this case um, I'll separate the model into two cores uh, because uh, this laptop is is, is on uh, this laptop has two cores so I'll, I'll divide I'll, I'll divide the model into two cores to see how many cores in, in your in your laptop or your, in your desktop has you just go to you just control uh, you just press ultra control delete to open the task messenger and in the task messenger you will know that there's a tab called performance click on that and you will see that there there are cores mentioned how many cores are there you can see there are two cores so you can run your model in two cores uh, simultaneously in this laptop for for your case if it's five or six or seven how much uh, how many cores I, uh, you want to run you need to see how many cores available in your in your laptop uh, this is actually not a very ideal uh, PC for running a model I normally do not do that normally I run in a high configuration PC but for this video I'm, I'm doing it to show you how to do it uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm I'll be separating the model into two uh, two different uh, two different files so two different partitions so in order to do that I need to run this command uh, if you want I can copy it and 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 put it in the in the uh, in the in the, uh, in the description box if you like uh, please let me know in your in your comments so copy this and then put it here and press enter so you'll see some process will go on and uh, and and your uh, uh, 
your model will be uh, separate into two different files so let's see if it has done so so if you go to the model directory you will see that there are two MDU files now 000 and 0001 and there's also two net CDF file as well 0001 and 000 so these are the two partition that ha I have created using the CMD uh, command prompt so uh, another thing I have forget to mention uh, before this is the location the location that you are seeing here this is the location of the dflow fm cli.exe file so where where will be you will be able to find it and uh, let me show you so the x64 that you have copied you go there and you go to the dflow fm and then go to the bean and you will find that dflow fm cl just copy this this location and then uh, you can do the same thing that i have done here okay so after after doing that you need to configure the dimr for uh, for parallel running so in order to do in order to do that you need to have some kind of dimr config file and this is the this is the configuration file that uh, that that uh, that uh, you can create um, i can share i can share this file with you if you if you want it i, I can i can easily share just comment it and send me send me a message and then i can i can easily send send this configuration file to you one thing to remember that uh, the work directory that i am working here it's a fm i i i call it fm because i am my model is in the fm directory so if you see that there's a fm folder here so i put fm here the uh, you need to mention your uh, directory name here so whatever directory if it's a uh, one two three test whatever it is you need to put it here and you need to put the MDU file name in this um, this input file location and the process here is the how how many uh, processes you are going to run for my case it's it's only two so there's zero and one if you have something like five you have to type three four and then zero one oh sorry I missed two so two zero one two three four so there's a five process here so you, you, you have to uh, edit this uh, this 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 uh, this portion of the file and uh, for your for your for your suitable case uh, so for me it's it's zero and one because I'm I'm separating the model into two uh, two partition and now just cross it because you don't need it now and now in order to run the uh, simulation you have to you have to uh, create a run uh, batch file so in order to do that how you you can do that you can call you open a notepad and call it as uh, call uh, input the command call and show the location of your of your of your parallel running batch file and and the DMI DIMR configuration file uh, so for 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 me the location is in C drive C drive in x64 sorry plugins shell kernels and then x64 and dimr and in scripts there's a run parallel run dimr parallel i need to copy this location you need to copy you need to copy this location and put it in your run command file i have put the invited comma in the both side because there's a uh, there is a space between the Delft 3D FM uh, write-up so in the software has um, has his own write-up so you need to put that one because uh, otherwise the command will not uh, run and then you need to put the number of a partition that you want to run for for my case it's two uh, for your case it may be different it may be six it may be ten whatever you have in your computer or whatever partition you are going to run and then put the dimr config.xml file so that it so the command knows to call the run parallel bat with two pro parallel process and running it in uh, running it with the configuration in the dimr config file uh, so after configuring this and saving the uh, so you you can you can you can type this in the notepad and then um, save as run dot bat all files and then run dot bat and it, 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 it 
save as a batch file so just do that and uh, now if it's run let's let's see if it's run let's uh, double click on the run and you can see that the process has already started and my model starts running and you can see that uh, the model is, is going on uh, for your case if you can if you if you do it uh, in the right way you should have something like this uh, so uh, this is the process actually to run the uh, run the model in, in parallelly um, I'm not going to run the model for the whole time because uh, this is uh, this PC is not configured for the model running so I'm going to uh, cross it uh, af but for your case if you run the model and, and uh, after finishing the model there will be some message that model has finished then you can cross the window and uh, and, and, and your simulation will be done and you, you will find the results file in the directory in the directory you, you you're in the mo you, you you have your model as output and in that output you'll find that uh, there are the, uh, the all the necessary results files are there uh, hope this video will help you uh, to run the parallel model simulation if you like it please do subscribe to my channel and also like the video and uh, do comment if you have any um, uh, using my email address thank you and also in the comment box thank you bye